Let's go to Len in the car. Len, you're on the Mark Madden Show. Hey, Mark, love the show. Um, I, I just can't help but think one happier. Hello? Uh, that's, um, hello, Mark. Yes, you're on. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, when half your team doesn't belong in the NHL, it's a problem. These so-called deaf. How, how, how do you figure half the team doesn't belong in the NHL? A few, a few guys don't. Uh, but what do you mean? Yeah, I mean they bring these guys in. They call them depth forwards, and depth forwards to me are for example, guys that suck, for example. You know? uh, no, actually, you know actually, I mean, I mean honestly, um, you've talked hardly at all, and you're proving you know almost nothing about hockey. You say depth forwards are another way to say they suck. Every team needs depth forwards. Every team needs bottom six guys. But who are you speaking of specifically that you think sucks? Yeah, I understand that, but the guys that we get, like Pooley Harvey, Harkins, um, these guys that play 25 games and they score one goal. Yeah, I, I, can't, just, I can't disagree he, about either of those, but, I mean, who else? Uh, man, I just I don't have any. Because you could know, well, no, I mean, well, you don't know what you're talking about because you literally said half the guys don't belong in the NHL. You said the team has half the guys that don't belong in the NHL, and that's just stupid. Yeah, okay, I, I feel that way though and if well, I no, that's list, because you're stupid i can understand why you feel that way because stupid people think stupid things i mean it's not a good hockey team but to say half of the guys don't belong in the nhl and then you come up with two names and the one guy's been hurt for how many weeks now i mean you're stupid i mean you gotta learn to live with it a lot of people do but you're stupid all right then okay good call thank you call back anytime let's go to yinzer in south pittsburgh yinzer you're on with double m what up mark what up man you mentioned the uh, the Nylander trade. Um, I never really understood. Like they, he was like a top prospect. And they gave up a draft pick for Benstrom. Like, he he, he wasn't. He wasn't. They, why do you say he was a top prospect? Uh, they, I mean, they always brought him up to play first, second line, like a top offensive prospect, right? Yeah, he, he was never considered a top prospect. He's projected as a first or second liner. You're right. They really blew it, and and the Penguins should fire the coach, the GM, everybody but the stick boy, because Alex Nylander should have been great. I'm not saying no. Just no, no. To, I'm, I, mean, I am. I'm saying you don't know what you're talking about. Alex Nylander was Alex Nylander was never considered a top prospect. I mean, he was a long time ago. He got drafted in the first round. You know when he got drafted in the first round? But why was it? Why Do was you know when he got thing? drafted in the first round? Tell me, Mark. You have the stats in front of you. I don't. Right, because you're too dumb to use Google. 2016. Well, my car just worked all 2016. Day. I don't have the stats in front of me. Sorry. Okay. 2016. And what about Benstrom? Where was well, he drafted at? What's the difference? What, what if you were first? If you were a first round pick in 2016, and to this point you've played 98 NHL games. To this mm -hmm. point, 98 NHL games. That doesn't include the Columbus games because, unfortunately, the Google isn't updated. But but he, he just isn't a prospect anymore. Dude, he was playing for, like, the Rockford Ice Hogs. But I was just surprised to see that trade made. I thought we could have held out and gave him a little more chance or get a better. And you player. know that he was going to do better how? Well, what did he play? How many games? 16, he said? He played 14 games for the Penguins, had one goal and one assist. And played, been played several games last year on Malkin's line and showed nothing. Like what you said, he he, he was playing for a much better team here. He, didn't get the opportunity. It's a little more intimidating. Okay, okay, didn't superstars. get the opportunity. He was playing on Malkin's line. Okay, here's the thing. You've just decided he's good and they blew it. And when confronted by facts, you ignore them. Anything else? Saying he was good. I'm just saying. I think. No, they, no, that's what you, you're that, right. I can't, that that I can't believe they made that trade. I can't believe that son of a bitch, Kyle Dubas, traded a bummy guy for a bummy guy. How the frig dare he? He should be fired. No, not fired. He should be pilloried in the center of town. I'm bringing it up. You're saying this goodbye. Scary. You're a jerk off. 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 Making a big deal out of the Alex Nealander for Bemstrom trade. Jesus effing. Miller D. Fillmore on a popsicle stick. No wonder I want to work less. Let's take a break. I've yelled too much. 105.9.